So let's talk about a stateless components. So a stateless components is nothing but a, a function. It's just a pure function, right? And uh, it treats that, that, uh, that function uh, as a constructor, right? It initializes it and, and, and um, it instantiates it, right? And then that becomes what it renders, right? The, uh, the only thing that that, that, that uh, function needs to do is to just have a return. That's all it needs to have. Right, just a plain old return, and then whatever it returns, that's what's going to be rendered. Right? It doesn't need to have a constructor. It doesn't need to have a, uh, a render function. It only needs to return, and whatever it returns, that's what's going to be rendered. Right, so, so let's, uh, let's create a, uh, simple, um, a simple constructor, a simple stateless uh, uh, component. Uh, notice that module list, module list over here, uh, uh, notice that uh, it's, it looks like it's iterate. It's a it's a UL of a whole bunch of, of modules. See that, right? Uh, well, here's an ex here's a, 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 um, a an opportunity uh, to to um, you know to to look at this and say, hmm, look at that. Would it be nice if uh, all these uh, modules, right? Each one of them would be an actual component, right? And the component can have a whole bunch of buttons so that you can remove it, that you can edit it, that you can navigate it, you can move it around or whatever, right? So on all that behavior would be all inside of the of this component, right? As opposed to having to put all the all the fonts here and all there, right? So let's do that. Let's grab this and let's create a stateless component. So this will be a module um, item, module item, and uh, and, and it all starts the same. We still have to import the React uh, library from React, right? But instead of creating a class, instead of extending, instead of a, doing any of that, uh, we just create a constant function, right, called uh, module item, right? And we make it equal to the following, right? Here we are using the new and improved uh, ES6 syntax. Right? It's just a plain old function. Uh, we're saying that module item is equal to a function, and the following is the body of the function. Right? If you prefer using the old e uh, you know, ES5, the old syntax, that's, that also works. Right? Uh, but from now on, uh, we're going to be using more and more. We're going to be replacing and using the new ES6 uh, syntax. Right? This is identical to creating a function uh, you know, function something like function uh, module item, All right? This is identical to doing doing this, All right? There are some rules, slightly different rules on how the keyword this is interpreted on one on either one of these syntax, okay? Uh, but other than that, you know, it's they're, they're pretty pretty uh, uh, identical to one another. So we're not going to use this old syntax. Instead, we're going to use this new syntax. Everybody okay? All right, so what we're going to do here, we're just going to do a return. This function is going to return. And what's going to return is one of these LIs. Uh, it's going to return an LI. And it's going to have, in this case, just module 1. Everybody OK? Right? We have that module 1. Uh, and uh, we still need to export it so that it can be used from the outside. So we're going to say export, uh, export uh, default uh, module item. Right? Uh, and back here, we can import it. We can say import the uh, module item from module item. There it is. And, and now we can just use this. Instead of having all these LIs over and over and over, uh, we can just have a module item. Module item. And I can have a, a, a few of these. Right. So we go back and re-render. Uh, notice that. Uh, it didn't work. Wait, what? Uh, module item. Uh, return, blah, blah, blah. Uh, module item. What am I missing? Is it complaining? It is complaining. What are you complaining about? Console. Uh, warning. Invalid. Uh, somewhere I'm using class instead of class name. Um, I don't think that's the problem. Uh, course editor, lesson tabs, uh, invalid DOM, blah, blah, blah. Did you mean tab index? Uh, 
lesson course whiteboard hmm uh, what look okay well let's let's uh, let's fix each one of these at a time so at, at whiteboard 12 and 9 it's complaining about class name let's uh, go back to um, whiteboard 12 12 class okay class name all right where else uh, tab index at uh, lesson tab 17 uh, tab uh, lesson tab 17 um, uh, 17 blah 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 tab index oh okay all right I don't really care about that let's remove that um, tab index at topics same thing so topics uh, topics there must be a tab index somewhere here let's remove that okay now let's see what else okay no more errors oh there we go okay there's our modules okay uh, with the with the only difference is that and now our modules are all hard-coded right ideally we would like to be able to pass as an argument the title of the module yes uh, so that uh, this might be if we go back to uh, whiteboard and our uh, where is our where's our module list on oh, the course editor right uh, let me move this up because we're working with the course editor and uh, so there's our module list and then our module is we would like to pass in a title and say that this is um, uh, you know this is um, uh, the first one was HTML, and then the title here is uh, JavaScript, uh, and then the title here is uh, React, and the the uh, title here is um, uh, Node.js, and the, the title here is um, is uh, uh, Bootstrap, uh, and the title here is Angular. All right. Uh, so ideally, we would like to be able to do the same thing in uh, in inside of the inside of the module item, we would like to be able to have here that which is being passed, I can just render it here, yes, like we did uh, earlier. But we don't have a constructor, we don't have props, we don't have any of that, right? Uh, so instead, we have something uh, better than that, uh, is that we can pass the attributes as a map, right, as an object map that we can extract elements from that map, right? Uh, so what we could do here is that here, in this uh, argument, we can say uh, extract the title, and now that title, I can just use it here as an expression, title, and when we render that, uh, we indeed, we have HTML, JavaScript, there dynamically rendered. See that? All right. One last thing, uh, that uh, since, uh, since this is, um, since this is uh, uh, ES6, ES6 has a whole bunch of syntactic sugar, right, that, uh, if the only statement here is that you're returning, meaning you're immediately returning, you're not doing anything else, you're only returning, you can do away with this. You can do away with that. And that's interpreted as a return, right? Uh, and this renders identical to before, right? So, so notice that this becomes much, much terse, right? Much easier to read, right, using stateless components. And that's where we're going to stay most of the time. Uh, we're going to try and stay within the stateless components as much as we can. All right? All right, let's leave this uh, here today.